Hello everyone and welcome back to the stream. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Uh, oh god, <laughs> sorry I accidentally uh, played my uh, stream and the audio yelled back at me. But uh, yep, I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Today we're going to be, going to be playing on the Origin Kingdoms SMP once more. Um, also I've got my throat's a bit sore today. We've got we're gonna work a little bit on the basement. Not we're not actually gonna do the chest area because I'm lazy, but we are gonna make the kind of room before that a little bit more prettier. And then we're gonna work on the library some more. Since it's been a while since we've worked on the library and I wanna I wanna get the library more finished. Especially the actual room with the library. Also, hello Bun, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today, buddy. Origins SP, my beloved. I agree. I love the Origin SP so much. It holds such a special place in my heart. Right, let me just switch over. There we go. Bear with me. Right, there we go. So, yeah, we're back in good old Origins. Uh, I forgot. All, all the um, benches are everywhere in my room. Hello, Daryl. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well, to, uh, well today, bud. Um, I don't, is it good morning? I don't think it's good morning for Daryl. I mean, it's a, it's probably sorry, it's super late for you, isn't it? But yeah, welcome to Daryl. Welcome, Daryl. Sure am. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm. Yeah, it's 10.30 p.m. for me. Yeah, that was the time that I kind of thought it might be. I'm just going to... Off topic, but I'm just going to quickly head over to Greenleaf to see if we have made any sales with our, men our bookshop. We probably haven't, but it's always good to check every stream. Oh, shit. Good morning, Tyrion. But yeah, I'm doing well today. My throat is a bit iffy and I'm a little bit tired. But other than that, I'm doing quite well today. Is that a witch? Oh my god, it is. So I'm just going to... Nope. Not today. <laughs> Witches have broke my heart enough today. I don't need another one in-game to break my heart. Why is there just a random dog there? I'm going to tame that dog one day. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't I think that's is that dog always there? I generally cannot remember. <laughs> Where am I? Oh it's just <laughs> I love being the phantom because if I just get lost, I basically just go through the wall until I am no longer lost. Ow. For some reason in Minecraft, I tend to kill animals. That's quite interesting there, bud. <laughs> no, no more sales. We, we're not, we're not any richer. Oh, alas. Alas. Good thing that you give me diamonds, bun. Otherwise, I would be poor at the moment. <laughs> By the way, bun, I did leave some coal in your mailbox. For next time you uh, come online. Ow. Ooh. I don't even know why. I think it... I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Perhaps it's because how many times they've traumatised me. Like, elaborate. Do you mean, like, the animals in Minecraft? <gasps> Oh, that was close. Or I've been chased. Oh, okay, you're talking about in real life. Monies? Man, I wish I was chased with monies. <laughs> That's, I, that sounds like the opposite of a problem. Rats. Jeez. Why are you getting chased by everything, man? Oh, monkeys. Okay, yeah, that's that's more fair. Monkeys are quite terrifying, to be fair. I do not want to be chased by a monkey, ever. Like, not once in my life do I want to be chased by a monkey. <laughs> right. 
so we're gonna begin working on our basement first so in minecraft i kill 150 why turtles are you you've never been chased by a turtle so i feel like it's unfair to take it out on Oh yeah, ignore the random bamboo there, Bun put it in there, because I might have put bum bamboo in her base. Oh my god. Bro, you have a problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, ki like, killing animals in game, I don't know, it, it might be just where I get very attached to animals, even in game, very quickly. Um... Oh, I'm using the wrong pickaxe, there we go. Like, I remember I used to play a game called Ark. Like, it's a lot like a little dinosaur survival game thing. Um, and w once my dinosaur died, I nearly cried. <laughs> I was so sad for my dinosaur. It was like my, f like, flying mount. And it was my very first flying mount. And I was really attached to him. And he died, and I nearly cried. <laughs> that that that's how attached I get to in-game animals. Oh, oops. I I get I get very attached, very very easily. You know, it happens sometimes. It do be like that. I I don't think the basement should take oh, should take mega long. I remember the golden age of Minecraft YouTube. Yeah, me too. Those, those were simpler days, I'm telling you that. I joined in the best of the golden ages, yeah, same. I... Oh, shit. I, I know... My brain's gone out. My brain's gone. I was going to say something and I cannot remember what I was going to say. But yeah, old, old, the Minecraft in the olden days just had a different feel to it. It's still very fun, but I still remember like the first time or the first few times I played Minecraft. It just had this very nice feeling to it. Um, part of that was probably because it was so new to me. And um, I know I met, yeah, 1.12 feels very different to the more classical uh, Minecraft. Like, Minecraft has come a long way. Okay, <laughs> ambient sounds. A long way from what it used to be, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, that is very much a good thing. Um, the game has definitely improved. Now I'd say the choices that the devs are making or that Mojang are making are definitely the right ones. But you can't help but miss the old times. And maybe that's part of the, re part of the reason you can't help miss the old times. Because I've seen the old times you're a lot younger. Someday I won't even be able to run it because of all the new things. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, I won't have any issues because my compute's quite beefy. But um, people who do not have beefy computers, I do not envy you. <laughs> Put it that way. Right, let's do this. So it looks nice. There we go. So we want our we want our place to look nice yeah did you hear by the way that they're removing fireflies well not removing but they were going to add fireflies but they're no longer going to add fireflies i was devastated when i heard about that <laughs> uh, i mean the reasons is fair enough i guess i guess they could just add it in for purely um, pr just it being pretty and having them in a jar reasons. Um, I just gave up. Okay, so basically they, they, oh god, they were adding fireflies. Um, but they are no longer adding them. Because the fireflies were being added because they were meant to be the frog's food. But some people pointed out that fireflies are actually poisonous to frogs. 
So because of that, they decided to um, no longer add fireflies. <gasps> Keo! Hello, Keo! Welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome to the stream. How heartbroken are you? Yeah, and frogs eat slimes on a daily. Yeah, yeah, totally. See how hi Keo. Are you doing okay? You watched the latest episode of The Owl House, haven't you? Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> I am. So <laughs> yeah, I had I had a little bit of a cry over the episode earlier. So the last um. The last episode of The Owl House for Season 2 came out today. Um, I won't give any spoilers, obviously, because it's just came out today. But, oh boy! Ow! My heart. That's it. That's all I'll say for now. But, oh, I'm in physical pain. Plugs my... I just said I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just saying it hurt my soul. In a good way, in the sense of that's what it meant to do, and it achieved that effect of completely breaking my heart. Whoops. So my sister said hi. Hello, bun sister. Tell your sister I say hi back, unless she can hear me. Then if she can hear me, hello. <laughs> right, okay, 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 we're gaming. Good thing the basement is taking less time than I originally thought it was going to take. Which means we can begin working on stuff like the library again. Because it's been a hot second since I've really touched the library. Like the library isn't really finished. Um, internally at least. I need to put... I need to put in so many bookshelves, man. <laughs> There's so many bookshelves I need to put in. But um, they, bookshelves are kind of a pain to gather, so I've been procrastinating ever so slightly. As you do, as you do. Right. Let's, uh, where's the middle? Does this have a middle? Yeah, it's here. Right. So, that, and then one, two, and then that. Flo, 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 did you watch the entire end credits scene? I didn't. There's something in there, is there? Oh, I have to watch. Oh, I have to. Okay, well, I guess I have to watch after the stream. I'll be sure to, um... I'll load up the episode again and watch it. Oh, and... Um, my words. And watch the credit scenes. I'm in fear. I feel like whatever the credit scene things happening in the credit is going to break my heart even further. I just have that feeling. It's ah sweating. It's sweating. Oh, ew, gross. Don't I don't know if I want to watch it if it's sweating, man. I'll be pulling your leg. Heartbreak. Heartbreak power of two, yeah. My heartbreak's gonna break even more. I'm excited for the next season, even if the season is ridiculously short because of you know why. Flo, are you gonna make a, me a staircase down? No, you are getting a hole. <laughs> I'll make a hole down. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, I'll make a hole down for you, buddy. But, um... Yeah, that's all you're getting. Look, man, you can jump super high, so you don't... You don't need me to put a staircase down here. It's all... It's all... It's all... It's all in my plans, you see. Right, let's... Oh, shit, that's the wrong way. No! Boop and boop. First, put the torch there. Honestly, I can't imagine what an entire season three would be about. To be honest, so I think it's cool. It's only a few special Fs. Well, yes and no. 
the problem is is that I know like the the team behind our house has said that they've wanted to do a lot more uh, with the Owl House, but because of the time constraints and having basically a whole season ripped away, they can't. Which absolutely sucks. Um, like, generally, that absolutely sucks. And I'll forever be salty about it. But, 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 I will applaud them because despite having such a pushback They've done incredibly well with what they've been given time-wise. And the latest season... Oh, okay, well, we've done... We've worked a little bit more on the basement now. I'll probably leave the basement for now because I'm lazy. But we go back up and put away some of our stuff. We can start working on the uh, library again. Let me go and use. Bessie, you should make a. That's a thing. Wait, what do you mean save on stone? Agreed. Oh, that's a. F oh, I didn't realise that was a thing. I just thought stone cutters were kind of useless. Well. Well, the more you know. <laughs> The more you know, am I right? Am I right, chat? I think the problem with stone cutters is that when they got first introduced into like pocket edition, they were basically well, they weren't useless, but you'd use them to like make special stylized stones. But that's about it. Um, so, so they were kind of useless, to be honest. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I should check the donation box. Wait, hold on. Oh, let me in. <gasps> Yo, wait. We actually have donations. <gasps> we actually have donated books. <gasps> oh. Oh. This is. Hold on, hold on. We'll take we'll take these up to my office, and have a proper read. Because, um, hold on, hold on, oh wait, this is like my office, that's the room thing. So Pandora's Box and Siren Law, I don't know what any of those two things are, but we are about to find out. We'll do, th we'll do the Siren Law as well, because I'm, I'm curious of what a siren is, and it has one with it. So let, let's have a read. In Greek mythology, sirens are described as half birds, half beautiful maidens. Ah. The sirens were singing entr enchantresses capable of luring passing sailors to their islands and subsequently to their doom. Daughters of the river god Archelous, if that's not how you say that, don't blame me and a muse. They were fated to die if anyone should survive their singing. When Odysseus passed them by unharmed, they hurled themselves into the sea and drowned. <sighs> Oof. It is said that sirens gained their wings through the abduction of the goddess Persephone. Again, if I'm saying any of the words wrong, I'm terrible at saying names. Uh, so hopefully I'm not saying any of them wrong. The tale varies depending on who is telling it, so I will describe the two most popular variations. According to the first one, Demeter turned to the sirens to into bird-like monsters because they had failed to help her daughter. The second one is much more flattering to them. In this case, the aggrieved sirens ask Demeter for wings themselves so that they can help search for Persephone better. Also, good night, Duriel. Sweet dreams. Ah, <laughs> huh. so as I, I've never heard of a um, siren before. So they're basically bird people. 
and they can sing and lure you to your death. So note to self, don't go near a siren. <laughs> that that's good information though, because I'm I'm pretty sure there are bird like hybrids on the server. I might avoid them because I kind of don't want to drown, you know. And then we've got Pandora's box. I wonder what on earth that is. The story of Pandora's box begins with the story of Zeus, Prometheus, and Epimetheus. <laughs> Stay away from Topaz then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prometheus and his brother Epimetheus were titans that pledged their loyalty to Zeus and the Olympians. Since Prometheus was born with the special power of prophecy and knew that Zeus would defeat the titans, Zeus rewarded Prometheus and Epimetheus for their loyalty and gave them the job of creating the first creatures to live on earth. Epimetheus formed the animals and gave each a special skill and form of protection. Prometheus took his time moulding man and was left with no forms of protection since uh, Epimetheus had already given them all away. Prometheus knew man needed some form of protection and asked Zeus if he could let the man have fire. Zeus refused. Fire was only for the gods. Prometheus ignored Zeus and gave a man fire anyway. For this, Prometheus was punished. Zeus tied him with chains to a rock far away in the Caca Ooh. Carcassus Mountains, <laughs> Sus. <laughs> where nobody would find him. Every day, Zeus sent an eagle to feast upon Prometheus's liver, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> which grew back every day so that Prometheus would in have to endure this torture daily. This torture wasn't enough of a punishment for Zeus who also believed that humans should be punished for accepting the gift of fire from Prometheus. To punish man, Zeus and the other gods created the very first mortal woman, Pandora. She was moulded to look like the beautiful goddess Aphrodite. She received gifts of wisdom, beauty, kindness, peace, generosity, health and endless curiosity from the gods. Zeus brought her to the earth to be Epimetheus's wife. Even though Epimetheus' brother, Prometheus, had warned him of Zeus's trickery and told him not to accept the gifts from the gods, Epimetheus was too taken with her beauty and wanted to marry her anyway. As a wedding present, Zeus gave Pandora a box, or a jar in some tellings of this story, but warned her never to open it. Pandora, who was created to be curious, couldn't stay away from the box, and the urge to open the box overcame her. Horrible things flew out from the box, including greed, envy, hatred, pain, disease, hunger, poverty, war, and death. All of life's miseries had been let out into the world. Pandora was horrified about what she had accidentally released. Just before she could succumb to grief and give up, one more thing flew out from the box. Hope. Through all, though all of life's horrors had been released into the world, so had hope. And with this hope, humans have been able to survive and at times overcome the wickedness that Pandora let out. Huh. Well, I've never read books like these before. Greek mythology. I mean, wow, those were kind of dark books. <laughs> like, they, those were kind of dark um, stories. But, I think, I mean, at least Pandora's box had the ending part was positive. Sort of. Oh. Hold on, let me. I need to make some lecterns to put these on. How do I make lecterns? Okay, move slabs. Just need to make two. Does that make two, or am I being blind? 
No, it didn't make two. It only made one. Give me two. There we go. Put Pandora's box and sirens. I wonder if there's any more about sirens. Because it says one. Which means this is only book one. I mean, I'm guessing the Pandora one is probably fake. Just a... Uh, Oh god, I can't type. Just a um, warning about greed and but also saying how, uh, not greed, but how some things should be left untouched. But then again, I don't know. Because it was a punishment from the gods, as the book says. But at the same time, hope is a good thing. So maybe is not as bad as the story makes out. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm thrilled that we actually got some donations of books, and I'd never heard of Greek mythology before, so I'm excited to delve more into it. I should totally sh uh, show Topaz these books next time I see her. I know Topaz likes reading as well, and I also probably warn her about sirens because again, I'm I'm pretty sure that there are some sirens about because uh, the book described it as like bird people, and I'm pretty sure I've heard Queen Elaine mention a kingdom filled with bird people before, so um. They must be called... They must be sirens. I mean, the actual kingdom is above the water and is on rocks. Oh, uh, that's kind of terrifying. So, note to self, don't ever go in that direction unless I want to be lured into, a, into my death. Which I don't... I don't want. I quite like being alive. Hmm. Maybe I should start making a note of things to avoid on the in the overworld. Since since there are quite a lot of things that you should really avoid in the overworld. Right, five more really? Okay, well. Well, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just have to kill some of these guys. I oh know, I know, it's not fair, but I've run out of em- Well, I haven't run out of emeralds, but I don't want to spend all of my emeralds in the library. I like to have some saved up. Whoops. Tag yourself, I'm Pandora. Yeah? You, you let, you let all the horrors of the world that the world that we face into out is is that what you're saying there bud right. there we go that should be enough leather do we have any wheat on us we do not that's a shame do we have any shoot cane on us we do that is not such a shame that means we'll be able to make uh, some paper and with paper we can make some more books. Flo, did you notice my present? What, in the mailbox? Yeah, I did get your present. Thank you for the lovely present. I safely tucked it away into my, ow, into my ender chest. I very much appreciate that, buddy. There we go, that's quite a few. That's not a lot of books in reality, but if I pretend it is. Nope! Oh god, what have you done? What have you done? Not in the mailbox. <laughs> Are you talking about the bamboo that's in my house? Well, you know I saw that because I messaged you going. I see you um, worked out what I did. Also, I should mention Finn's in here now. Not because I put him in here, it's because I logged on and he just teleported to me. Not entirely sure why. 
But he, 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 he's just going to be vibing in there for a little bit. Cruel, you were right. What do you mean right next to it? Bestie. Bestie. you, Bestie. Are you talking about this? Or something else? Or are you talking about the one that you put out here that hasn't grown? Are you talking about this one? You're gonna ha you're gonna have to be more bit more pacific because I I don't pay attention to my surroundings enough. <laughs> Finn teleporting to you is fairly on brand. Yeah, it does make sense because Finn, like the actual Finn, is a little baby, not bamboo. Then, then bestie, then bestie. What, what bestie? Please, bestie, tell tell me the puzzle pieces that I'm so very clearly missing. Random fun fact, but I apparently gave my roommate's cat pro neo pronouns because when I say hi, sir, I started changing it to the over time neo pronoun royalty oh that's cute though i mean the is really cute especially considering um you have to call me super um cool first and then i'll tell you bun you are very cool you're super cool you are the coolest <laughs> uh but yeah that's i mean that is quite funny Little, little, little baby. Little baby man. Is that, um... Oh god, I can't remember his name. His name is on the tip of my tongue. But my brain is a s thoughtless thing. And I've already forgot. Toku! Toku! Is that Toku you're talking about? It took me a moment. But we got there. Is that a little toku though? L little brainless boy. No brain cell. Head empty boy. I just realised I shouldn't. Why? <laughs> to toku, yeah, toku. That's so funny then. I don't know if you. Bun might have seen it. But, um. <laughs> that word got, like, stopped for approval because the like auto mod for it was sexual <laughs> wait did you did you get me sheepies wait hold on hold on ah immediately break my ankles hold on I'm gonna kill these squid first because you can never have nothing in my opinion. Oh, I broke a lily pad. No. Crying. Yeah. Can't, can't believe that um, whatever auto moderates my chat. Toku gone sexual. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. Toku. Toku. Toku's. Um, not Flo looking at them and not even noticing. Look, man. Oh my god, you did, but thank you! <laughs> Look at them! Oh, little sheep. Oh, little sheep. Hello, little sheep. Also, the name didn't flag for me, so I don't know. Oh, it did for me. Odd that it didn't for you. Unless it's where I approved it so far, so you didn't see it in time. Which could be thing. But thank you for the sheep. That's very useful. I no longer have to go a million miles away just to get some stupid sheep. That is very useful. Thank you, buddy. Alright, let's, let's, let's head over to the... Why am I going the long way? I can play through things. Head back over the tower. And begin putting more bookshelves and stuff in. Up we go. So yeah, I'm so happy that we finally got donations to the library. And some... No! Some the books. Oh, that was the wrong button. No, I mean some of the books are the contents a bit dark. 
But you know what? They, those were good reads and one of them had a good lesson in. So really, how can you complain? Want to hear something fun? Always. I always want to hear something fun. If you don't mind me, I am just plotting out where I want to put bookshelves. <laughs> so I kind of want this room to be a bit more of a maze. I already have over 42,000 jumps in the server. Jesus Christ, how many do I have? Hold on. Just, uh, where is it? Should be... Around here somewhere. Maybe. Bun go hop. I mean, it is in Bun's name. You know, rabbits do go hop and Bun is called Bun, which is a rabbit. So, you know, it makes sense. It does make sense. The logic is there. Uh... Oh, pardon me. Sorry if the mic picked that up. Bear with me as I try and find where exactly. Jumps. Oh, that's how. I, well, I hate to brag, but I am kind of beating you in the jump. Jump? Jump department. 70,734. Yeah, that's, that is very fair. I have no doubt that you will probably exceed me at some point. How many times have I died now? Oh, <laughs> 190. Ignore that. Ignore that. I I swear I am actually the most, the person who's died the most on the server. And considering D is on the server and like dies quite frequently. I'm fair. You've been on the server longer. No. No, I think that's plenty fair. I think that is the fairest I could possibly ever be, in my humble opinion. Right, so we're gonna make like little nooks and crannies and stuff. Uh, because I just think that's swell. In um, things like this, it makes it seem more enclosed. Um, probably remove that one though makes it seem more enclosed it just it's it kind of cute not gonna lie I, mean, I won't even lie it do be kind of cute though right, let's do that and <gasps> hello smudge just walked into the room hi baby did you have a nice nap yeah do you want some do you want some pickles oh Blow, please uncover the window that has shelves in front of it. No. <laughs> I don't think I will, actually. I think I'll keep them there just to annoy you Pacific. Uh, just to annoy you specifically. Uh, do I like that? Maybe if I do. Eh. Maybe just one more forward. Like that, maybe two more forward yeah that's fine flow please no no i think like no i think i'm just gonna keep it like that <laughs> just in spite right, let's figure out where we want to put all of these put one there there we go we've got a few places to put our bookshelves now I'll put future books as we get them and then all of these are going to be filled with all of these are going to be bookshelves so we've got a plan because i want it i don't want this room to be open space like all the others i want it to feel like an actual library as if you just get lost you know there's so some twists and turns and stuff to reach all the books stuff like that stuff like that Speaking of bookshelves, let's go nab some more from Hank. Oh, I just heard Stinky Artemis Mutton. Hello, Stinky Artemis Mutton. Hello. Oh, you're, you're, you're such a good little cat. Such a good little keeper of the books. There we go. But yeah, 
I, yeah, but yeah, I'm not moving the bookshelves from the windowsill. You can just suffer and perish. You can't see me, but I have a big grin on my face. You're welcome, you're welcome. Right, let's talk to Hank. Hello, Hank. Do you not? No, actually, please don't. <laughs> huh? Don't do that, simply because... It will break the books apart, and that means I have to make the bookshelves again, and I don't want to do that. Also, I also I will make. Do you want me to make it go four up, so the window is just completely covered? Would that would that make it better? Would that make it better for you, buddy, to have the windows completely covered instead? Why? Oh, Smudgy. You can't see her, but Smudge is currently on my desk, or the desk next to my um, uh, desk. The desk next to my desk with my like keyboard and stuff on my drawing tablet. Smudgy, 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 what are you doing there? Get off my drawing tablet. You purring? Oh, she's purring. Hold on, let me move the microphone. Um, see if you can hear her. Let me know if you can hear her purring. Can you hear her purring? Oh she oh she just rubbed against the microphone. Oh smudgy. Oh smudgy. Can you hear her purring? Do you want to say hello to chat, chat smudge? Do you want to say hello to chat? Say hello to chat. Oh, <laughs> say hello to chat. Hello. Oh, she just bumped foreheads with me. Say hello to chat. Say hello. <laughs> oh, she rubbed against the microphone, so I think that's the closest hello you're going to get from her. No, only thumps. Oh, that's a shame. She is purring though, all happy. Happy little baby, aren't you? You're getting some attention, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm pressing her though, because if I don't, she'll end up going on my keyboard and that's when, that, that, that becomes a bit of a problem, doesn't it, Smudge? Oh, thank you for the kiss, Smudge. Thank you, thank you. Right. She's molting like all heck right now though. Oh, fine. Don't let me trade yet, stinker. No, Smudgy, don't. I lish. Hey. Smudgy. Smudgy. She's gone violent. She's gone violent, chat. She's gone violent and evil. I'll give you a kiss. Mwah. Yeah, that got her moving. <laughs> that got her to turn away. <laughs> For those who don't know, Smudge is absolutely disgusted by kisses. She, she'll let, her, she'll sometimes she'll let her kiss her, but most of the times she tries to avoid it. Like to the point where if I make the kissing sound, like if I go like that to her, sometimes she will literally just bolt. <laughs> she'll fucking leg it. <laughs> Cause she knows I'm about to. Tr she knows I'm about to attempt to kiss her. That's like the last thing she wants. Bless her. She's a nut, but she's my nut. You know what? I might remove. Uh, just temporarily. I might remove these. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't want to remove my wall. <laughs> from in here and use them for upstairs because at the moment upstairs is more important than this place here at the moment well, I'm going to do it from the uh, top so I don't break my wall instantly <laughs> but yeah it's a shame that you guys couldn't hear her cute little purrs oh shit because they were very cute and she's still just sitting on my drawing tablet Smudge, can you not sit on my drawing tablet, please? That's very expensive, and you're not really meant to sit on it. Okay? Hi? 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 Oh, 
god, she's so lovely. She's so lovely, aren't she? You're so lovely. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna be covering up all the window. This is the wrong room. I've gone up too much, that's why. There we go. But yeah, I'm gonna begin project to cover up every window in spite. But here we go, that looks good. I'm sorry, bun. How it be sometimes. L plus ratio. Um, I'm trying to think, and I don't do that often. Okay. Sludge, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to hide your dogs out of spite. Not my dogs. Anything but my dogs. Hey, if you hide my dogs, I will go to your house and I will change your normal tap water for salt water if you're not careful. Alright. If you're not careful, I will change your normal water for salt water. I will also fill up your socks with wet sand. That is not a threat, that is a promise. Right, hello Hank. Ugh. Let me trade the ink sacks. Fine, I guess I'll guess I'll go waste more emeralds. I need some diamonds then. Waste more emeralds. I will simply move to your house and move everything an inch to the left. Bestie, that's not going to change much. I already walked into any everything anyway. <laughs> you never know, that might make me uh, walk into things less if you do that. But yeah, that, that's not going to change much, I hate to tell you. I hate to deliver you this news, but that really ain't going to do much, bud. Right, there we go, got more emeralds. Right, I, I, I think I stubbed my foot multiple times yesterday um it's in a bit of pain because i just like bruised and everything that's how much i kept stubbing it that's right i did stub my foot even more uh, i'm constantly walking into doors as well uh, <laughs> clearly clearly i am amazing at, at coordinate uh, coordination Obviously, it's obviously a talent of mine. And uh, yeah, I also walked into a fan earlier and cursed at it really loudly, <laughs> which was quite funny. Let's kill these guys, because again, you can, have n you can never have enough ink sacks. Stop running away. Running away will just prolong the inevitable. Oh, I just didn't need to kill that summon. There we go. Oh, missed one. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, absolutely scrumptious. Good soup. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, let's go in here. Hey, he's able to trade again. 30 emeralds for just 8 bookshelves. No, 7 bookshelves. Actually painful. <laughs> huh? Why? Oh. I just had a car go really speedy down the road. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, I wanted to apologise by the way. We're not having a stream tomorrow. Because obviously normally I stream cat cows on a Sunday. And I do like to stream on a Sunday. Uh, but I'm, it's my friend's birthday party tomorrow. And I'll still probably be there uh, by the time I normally stream. So obviously can't do stream tomorrow. 
Which is both, I mean, which is shame, because I do love streaming, but I'm excited to see my friends, because it's been a while since I've seen this lot. Or that lot. Okay, I can go and drink some water. Oh. I don't know if you guys heard the funky little sound that I just made. Wait, I don't need to do this part here. Because it's a corner piece. So get rid of that. All these I do have to do though, but that's fine. There we go. We're getting there. We're guessing there. We're making progress. Slowly but surely. Which is always good to see. Right, that's the wrong way. Which way? Uh, let me head into the wheat farm to get some <gasps> wheat. <laughs> Oops. Oh, pardon me. Apologies if the microphone picks that up. Oh yeah, did you guys see my tweet on Twitter about me being elderly? Or going into my elderly arc, my old person arc. So yeah, on Friday, I decided, oh, I'm going to... Um, go to the uh, eye place, I can't remember, opticians I think they're called um, because I've, I've been struggling reading things from a distance, like things in a distance are just kind of blurry from me uh, the only time I'd really notice is when I was like going to bed because I, I, I have my xbox on when I go to sleep uh, not watching videos but I use it to play uh, like relaxing music and stuff and um, to help me sleep um, but when I was like, say when I was laying in bed and I went to like do my password or obviously read the screen, I couldn't see the words. They were too blurry. And I just, at first, I just kind of thought, oh, it's probably like that because I'm really tired. Do you know how, you know, like sometimes how your eyes go blurry and watery when you're like mega, mega tired, um, which I normally am when I go to bed. So I thought, eh, it's nothing. Um, cut to, uh, cut to when I started my course, and we had a whiteboard in front of us. Um, it wasn't even that far away from me, but I remember looking at the whiteboard and being like, damn, I can't read that. <laughs> it's blurry, and I've been able, like, some of the letters were quite small. But I should have been able to read it at the distance I was. I've been able in the past read smaller font at a bigger distance on a whiteboard. So I was like, okay, that's um, that's a problem. Because <laughs> that probably means I need glasses. So I went to the opticians uh, Friday or yesterday. It was, it was a bit nerve wracking since I've never been to the opticians. Like the last time I got my um, eyes checked, it's like in year three, <laughs> which that's like over ten years ago now. <laughs> I was like eight. <laughs> that's that's how long ago it was. And cause it, you you are meant to get your eyes checked like every two years, but I didn't know that. So um, I went to the opticians. I got it tested. I was very nervous, as you would be, because I was like, damn. I hope my eyes aren't like damaged or anything. I'll say they did the normal tests make sure and check my eye health my actual eye health is fine by the way like my eyes are healthy in terms of like there's no damage to them which is good the, the actual eyes are healthy I, but I yeah I do need glasses though <laughs> I, I, I was confirmed to be short sighted which is a bit of an L bit cringe that I'm short sighted now <laughs> You should make a sugarcane farm. Um, oh shit. Could do. That means going to the nether though, and I don't want to do that. 
uh, to make your sugar cane farm, one of the items that you have, you need like quartz and stuff. And um, I don't want to go back to the nether. I generally despise the nether. There is not... But I can't hear you over my family right now. Your fam- just tell your family to shh. That's very rude of them to talk over me. No, I'm just joking. But yeah. I won't say yeah. I'm short-sighted. Kinda cringe. I've joined the blind gang. And I want nothing to leave. That being said, the glasses frame I picked out are quite cute. So I remember I was going through like different glasses frames with my mum. And I saw these like kind of round rimmed glasses. I was like, oh, I wonder if that, that would look on me. And it looked really cute. My mum thought it was cute, so we got those. Well, I say got those. We haven't got them yet. It's like the wait time to get the glasses is like in a week. Um, so obviously next week i should hopefully um get some glasses you should also make some carpets for the other fences i mean i could do that um yeah i'll do that <laughs> i was about to, i was about to say i could do that but i won't mm, love glasses cult glasses cult glasses cult glasses cult yeah i'm rejoining glasses cult and yeah I do basically have to wear have to wear glasses always. I remember like the person was like, Yeah, you're gonna have to wear these all the time, basically, because you are blind. <laughs> like so I see when I start driving and stuff, not very good if I can't see <laughs> in the distance or can't read stuff in the distance, you know. There we go, we've got some um more stuff so you know which is fair he is right that's not a good thing <laughs> if i can't read signs and whatnot huh. huh. lovely jubbly we can go back up to the good old town but yeah i've i've entered my elder arc next year i'll be on my way to the nursing home <laughs> I've already got one foot in the grave. Right. Sleeping through this night. I forgot Lisa was online. That made me jump. I thought the circle was haunted. <laughs> I generally forgot she was online. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot. I forgot you were online. And thought the server was haunted when the sleeping through the night notif came up. As you can see, I am very foolish. <laughs> God, that did make me. That did make me a bit. That did make me jump just a tad. Just a tad bit. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me. Sorry if the microphone picks that up. Go down. Um. Mm, sure. You know what? Just for now, I'm removing these since we're kind of even in a waiting thing. Um, we're in a bit of a waiting thing at the moment. We're waiting for the cows to obviously like grow up uh, so I can heal them. I'm waiting for the homie to sell ink sacks again. So I'll remove those for now and just put them up here because again... I feel like this is more important. At least it is to me. There we go. So we've nearly done this section here. 
which is very pong, very pong indeed. And then we'll do God. So I'm getting all excited with finishing this. So it looks really like already it looks quite cool. And we haven't even like I can't imagine how cool it'll look when that goes that's raised up. I mean so I'm excited to get that part of the library finished. Or at least finished interior wise. So obviously we still we'll fill fill books up as we go. Right, let's put that out here. I think hmm, I might use all of my emeralds. Uh to get the bookshelf simply because um, I can easily get my emeralds uh, stock back up off stream. It's not mega mega difficult. Can I reach it from here? Yes. Alright, let's turn back into normal emeralds. There we go. And let's head back to Hank. To do some good old business. Hello, Hank. Uh, give. So I like how angry he sounded when I gave him more ink sacks. That did tickle my funny bone just a little bit. Oh, wait, I can get more pictures. <laughs> Ooh, a tasty pen. Nice. Love to see it, love to see it. Where's my cat gone? Oh, she's on my bed. Bless her. She's all curled up on my be bed fast asleep now. She she had her attention. She did a little bit of mischief. And back to sleep she goes. And honestly, wouldn't change that for the world. What's that? Mm, it's an interesting place. Up we go. Yes, I know stinky mutton artemis. Stinky artemis mutton. Whatever order your name goes, I forgot. My brain is turning into bees right now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two. Ooh. 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 That looks cool. I'm especially excited to get this section done here because then it'll like just this corner I'm excited to do I'm just excited <laughs> is it a little bit sad to be excited over just the aesthetics of a library that doesn't really hold any practical purpose maybe do I care no because I think it's swell Why even have windows flow? <laughs> Look, you don't need windows on that floor, it's fine. Look, I can't take the windows out because otherwise it'll look weird on the outside and untextured on the outside. Like, you don't need like, um, to be able to actually see the windows in that part. It's fine, it's fine. Like, I think I will just uh, after I've done the free it up by free around the whole thing I'll then carry on working on it and make it up by four so it just completely covers the window so you'd never know a window was there in the first place I think that's the plan like on the inside you wouldn't know a window was there we are two very different people now it would look generally it would look really off if I um remove the windows and it would also look off if I remove the bookshelves with the windows there but you know it's fine it's fine oh <gasps> you've changed it to free thank you bestie I appreciate that my lad have you guys grown up yet you have I don't have any more wheat I'm gonna get more wheat I mean, yeah, we, we we are two very different people. I think how we organise says that enough. Because, uh, do 
your organization hurts my brain. And my organization hurts your brain. Right, that should be enough. Plenty. Lovely jubbly. Oh. Off topic. Well, kind of. Going back to the sirens book. Tell you what. I love sirens so much. Not the traditional siren. Not so much the bird siren that is in Greek mythology. But I do like the mermaid siren. I just think they're neat. Like... I think definitely sirens are probably one of my favourite things to read about in fiction. They're very fun to read about, even if the stories in that fiction can be cli quote unquote cliche. I still enjoy reading about it. Right, there we go. Um, well, I know recently my sonar flow. Um, I actually recently gave her a siren form uh, because for those who don't know is that I do have one kind of sonar which is Flo but she can um, she can um, like shapeshift so she has different forms um, that she uses and I recently gave her a siren form so I was like how have I, I was like how have I not done this already I love sirens I love marine life, I love the ocean, so I recently gave her one which I uploaded to Toy House and it's based off uh, my second favourite animal ever which is, um, oh sh keep breaking my farm, which is orcas. I love orcas so much, they are my second favourite animal ever and to be honest they are a very close first like they are very close to becoming my first favourite animal but foxes still hold that throne of being my first my very my uh, like favourite animal ever but they are my second favourite animal walkers and I love them they're so cool Honestly, if I ever saw an orca in real life, I can die a happy person. I forgot I... Whoops. I got those missing the books there. Bird sirens deserve love too. I mean, I agree. Yeah. No, I'm not saying, like, the Greek mythology is terrible that they're birds. But I do like the variation. Um, but we do have harpies. That's my thing. Harpies are also bird people. And I do very much love bird harpies as well. I don't know, do harpies have the same song thing? Um, like, do, can they control people singing? I don't know. I, can, I guess I'll have to research that later. I'm definitely curious. Excited to hear more on other creatures and definitely the kit soon. I'm trying to process what you mean by definitely the kitchen. So I'm definitely, yeah, you'll definitely, I'll definitely have more books about other creatures in the streams. Because I love mythology. Uh, ah! And I love, I especially love the creatures from mythology. So I do find them very interesting. Um, but I'm guessing you're hinting at me, at want me, wanting me to do research into kitsunes. Is that what you're hinting at, pun? Topaz is going to have to donate a book. Please! Please! Luna would be... S I think that's the difference between sirens and harpies, but not 100%. You know what? Yeah. You know what, Keo? We can research that later. Together. <laughs> Ready? Ah! Aha. Squids. Yeah, that might be the difference between 
the traditional siren and um, the not traditional siren. That's wait. Oh, Lisa's reaction to what I put in the chat. Um, because I know I'm also very interested in how exactly the avian siren. Because a lot of people don't know that sirens did originate as avian. How an avian siren over time turned into a mermaid kind of siren. Like what caused that switch of what a siren is believed to look like. Because a bird and a fish are two very different things. <laughs> so I am very very curious of what kind of influence that changed i guess Cause that, that, that's just interesting to me it might not be interesting to other people but it is very interesting to me um let me one of these homies. it's called evolution <laughs> i mean you know what you're so you're so true bestie so true so true Oops. You're right, maybe maybe they just evolved. <laughs> totally. But yeah, I'm curious. I'm trying to think. I know there's like a certain animal that used to get mistaken for being a mermaid. I'm pretty sure it was manatees. Like, when sailors saw manatees, like just their towel and stuff, they used to think the manatees were mermaids. And that's where they think some of the um, myths come from is just a sailor seeing a manatee or a bit of a manatee and going pointing at it and going what the fuck <laughs> there we go but I could be completely wrong about that but <sighs> by the way <laughs> whoops no one saw that I remember I want to remove What the fuck? Hello? I am so confused really said that man he got me acting up <laughs> no no Keo that's so cursed why would you say that <laughs> you're right though they really went damn that manatee why is this taking ages to break I hope this doesn't actually permanently break it I'm gonna be mad if it permanently breaks it <gasps> oh phew Phew. I'm gonna put these down here where they're not so much in the way. Oh, I didn't want to put that there. Then again, these are still only temporary. I don't like how you put the slimy face, it makes it more cursed. <laughs> I don't like that, Kilo. Kilo, please. And last one. There we go. Gives us, uh, makes our room look, look less cluttered and ugly now. I always see. Oh, God. I hate, I hate Twitch's like robot smiley face so, so much. It is generally the bane of my existence. Oh yeah. Guess what time it is, guys? It is question of the day time. So, question of the day. What is your favourite mythology? This could, when I say favourite mythology, this could be a mythological, like what's your favourite mythological creature? What's your favourite mythological story? Either is fine, I don't mind. 
Honestly, with me, it's really hard since mythology is kind of my jam. And I like a lot of mythology. Um, but I definitely find Greek mythology interesting. Uh, Japanese mythology or um, folklore is also really, really interesting. Um, I love dragons. Yeah, dragons are really cool. I really, really love dragons. And I really like sirens as well. I think sirens and dragons have got to be my favourite two. Plus every mythological cat. But we knew that already. <laughs> Dragon, dragon, yeah. dragon, dragon. Ah. Yeah, me, Keo, same brain. Phoenixes are also really cool. No, I agree, Ben. Phoenixes are really cool. Like, right, just the concept behind a phoenix, a bird on fire that can't die. That is also really baller. I do have to say, phoenixes are cool. Oh, pardon me. And once again, sorry if the microphone picks that up. Flo, you want to go on a scavenger hunt, like in real life? In game, I mean, yeah, I love scavenger hunts. But do you mean like in real life or in game or... Or are you pulling my leg? <laughs> scavenger hunts are quite fun though. Not, won't even lie. Uh, nah, in game, yeah. What are we hunting? But yeah, no, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. That sounds fun. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. I might. Should I knock out this, do you think? I might knock out this just to, uh, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Right, back down we go. I've, actually, I've just looked at Discord and I literally have four mentions in one server. What is happening? Why have I been mentioned? Oh, it's for people selling stuff. And I got money! Ayo. Bear with me if I just check my Discord notifications because they've been annoying me. <laughs> right. I started working on a project. On a project and the building is built your only hint is that it's the opposite way it's the opposite way to my house oh. so I'm guessing you mean if it's the opposite what does that mean it either means it's in that direction or it's in this direction <laughs> like the what there's a lot of opposites, man. Um, uh, which should I, I will go. Um, right. I know you said you're only gonna give me one hint, but can you tell me if you mean that opposite or that opposite? Like opposite towards the end tower, or opposite, like that way, <laughs> not towards the end tower. So I don't want to go both ways. I'm lazy. Check if there's any more squids. Don't think there. Oh, there is. You fool. Never should have come here. You better tell me if I do see it though, because um. Um. Really, neither. But end tower ish. Bro. All right. Well. I think that's a hint as much as I'm going to get one. <laughs> Hold on, let me quickly um, trade these in for the bookshelves. Oh, my throat is 
so sore. My throat do be getting sore. Also, I just noticed I'm nearly at 30 levels again, which is so poggers, um, considering I lost a lot of my levels. Because I know before stream, I went to the uh, zombie spawner and got my levels back up. Well, I, I didn't do go there for the purpose of getting my levels back up. Do you want me to rephrase the hint? Yeah. Yes, please. I'm very stupid. <laughs> My, I don't have that many brain cells. You, you, you will look in my eyes and you will see just emptiness. Ooh. Yes, please, please, please do rephrase. No, that would be very nice of you. Pardon me. Once again, sorry if the microphone picked that up. What the fuck? So, start at my house and go the opposite way of your house. So... So, start at my house. Well, your house is in that direction. So I should go in this direction, <laughs> I think, hopefully. Have I got a villager down there? No, I'm just insane. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the failed uh, villager breeder. Well, not no well, it would work that mob griefing isn't enabled on this side. I still need to move them. Remind me to move those villagers to the trading hut at some point. Um, I hope I'm going the lot right. Watch me, even with a lot better and clearer hint, still go in the wrong direction. Because that's how smart I am. Ooh, there's a torch here. That's promising. Then again... That could also mean absolutely nothing. There's a drown today. I'm just gonna. Not today. Not today, thank you. Ooh. Minecraft. That will no longer load in. <laughs> Do tell me if, um. Do tell me if I'm um, gone too far, by the way. Please. I mean, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you did. <laughs> so, uh, oh shit. Or if I'm just going in the complete wrong direction, because that is a possibility with me. I'm not great at direction. That's cheating. What do you mean that's cheating? What's cheating? Me phasing through the floor? Or me asking you to tell me if I've gone too far? Elaborate. I'm just going to phase through because I'm getting lazy doing it normally. Asking for directions. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you've given me one hint, which is a vague hint. And, um, once again, I simply just do not know where I am half the time. Ooh, what's it, Ravine? Yo, Elaine! That's. Ooh, I always do the wrong thing. <laughs> I 
I am here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's my silk touch? Don't mind if I do. Don't know if there's a bee in there. Maybe. Maybe. It's not underground if that helps. Okay, that does help. My panic. <laughs> oh. I saw light. Is it over here? Oh no, that's a, just a giant... Jesus, that's massive! at the moment on a scavenger hunt from bun you're on, you're on a scavenger hunt you need help oh jesus you scared me uh probably i mean bun just put i don't even know where you are anymore so that's not promising <laughs> monsters everywhere. Alright, well you have fun. Thank you. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. <laughs> oh my god, I hate zombies so much. Well, I'm gonna take it. I went in the wrong direction. Flo, you are dying. I am aware. Wow. No, Elaine. <laughs> Elaine is gone. <laughs> I think that's just, that's not, obviously that wasn't Elaine's, um, proper account. That was Elaine's ult, aka the admin thing. Uh, where am I? God, if I know. Hmm. Is it not letting you say light-hearted? <laughs> oh dear. Fun. Fun, I'm lost. I don't even know what Ah! Why is an enderman trying to kill me? I didn't even look at it! Oh, those be fighting words. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Did you drop a pearl? You didn't even drop a pearl. But am I at all in the right area? Just a wow, I never thought of that before. And suddenly everything is fine again. Wowza. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't know what you feel. POV, we are in my lost ark. Go back towards your house, bestie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Evil? Oh, you're evil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what is that? Ew, radish. Gross. Where even is the tower? It's in this direction somewhere. I like how Bun didn't realise how lost I was going to get. I do that is quite funny to be honest. Rip Bone Wolf 23. I'm yeah, honestly, I'm still so sad that um the game doesn't like the mod doesn't let you tame them. I personally think that is stupid. Let me tame the funny bone wolf. Please. I will get on my knees and beg for the funny bone dog. Uh, what do I 
don't know what these are. Only parrots. Parrots are kind of useless. Low key. I like to have a uh, free hand or a hand filled with useful food like steak. Let's see these. I don't even know where I am. Where am I? <laughs> I think the tower's in this direction. Hopefully it's in this direction. Oh yeah, we're going the right direction because I remember this massive lake. I think. Yeah, because there's an island in the middle. So we're at least going in the right direction back to that tower slash my house. Which is good. There's the tower! I see the tower! Woo! We found the tower! We're back home! Oh boy! Bear with me as I tab out. Just need to check something. Right, there we go. Where is my trap door thingy? Well, I'm back home. Now what? <laughs> well, let me put the flowers that I gathered away first before I forget. No, not the chest. There we go. And the countless of bloody seeds that I have. And this. So yeah, I'm, I might, I might need a better hint. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, though I enjoy scavenger hunts, I'm not very good at finding them, to be honest. It is, it is not my specialty. <laughs> there we go. Can you guys breed yet? You should be able to, yeah. So I've been a while uh, away for a second. Oh, God, my throat is really going sore. Uh, what I uh, we might go on the scavenger hunt next stream, bum. If that would be any better, yes, please. Yeah, we can do the scavenger hunt at a later date. Cause my throat is really sore. <laughs> we have been talking for so long. And I also am probably a little bit dehydrated. Just a smidge. Oh. oh, before... Hold on, I forgot I had two more bookshelves. We can go put that these in the library. Before I forget. So yeah, next stream should be next Saturday. Suspense is good, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys in suspense. I don't know what Bun has made, uh, and nor will you guys. <laughs> Until next time. Hold on, let me go put these up. Or put these away, I should say. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh. So yeah, on that note, um, next stream will be on Saturday. Uh, let me check what Saturday. It'll be on Saturday the 4th. So, next month. <laughs> Our stream is next month. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for everyone that joined into the chat today. Thank you for the giggles. And, uh, Honestly, again, thank you so much for everyone who supports me streaming and who hops into the chat and who watches. It truly means the world to me. Like, honestly, it means 
so much to have you guys and the support. I love you guys a lot. You guys mean a lot to me. Um, and I'll see you guys. <laughs> Licks. I'll see you guys um, next Saturday. Uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I hope you guys have a good uh, Sunday. And I'll, I'll catch you guys on the um, flip side. Alright. Adios. Bye.